West Virginians for Life annually holds Pro-Life Rally Day during the 60-day legislative session. In light of COVID guidelines at the Capitol, thinking outside the box was necessary this year. Abortion pill reversal petitions came in from around the Mountain State and all those signatures needed to be presented in some way that pro-life constituents who took the time to sign and collect them would know that they did indeed make it to Charleston. Petition numbers were down this year because many churches were only operating online. Nonetheless, there was a presentation of the signatures on March 16, 2021, and legislative leaders provided commentary all on the very same day that HB 2982 made its way successfully through the House Health Committee. Be sure to visit wvforlife.org to stay aware of the latest with the Second Chances at Life Act, a bill that will save unborn babies from chemical destruction if the process is stopped within a short time frame. Hi, my name is Roger Hanshaw, Speaker of the West Virginia House of Delegates. It's Tuesday, March 16, 2021. Today's day 35 of the 2021 regular session of the state legislature. The pro-life agenda has been important to the Republican Party during the time that we've had the opportunity to be in the majority party here in our state legislature. This week, we do expect to take up additional pro-life legislation on abortion-related issues. Our Committee on Health and Human Resources, chaired by Delegate Jeff Pack, will be taking that bill up for consideration this week. Hi, this is Patricia Rucker, and I'm so sorry that you all can't, couldn't be with us today, but I have to say I'm very excited that the Second Chances for Life Act is moving, and we are definitely planning on passing it, and it is a great um, opportunity to give babies a second chance at life. And I also want to say that I'm so grateful for all the work, all the support. Please continue to keep us in your prayers, and thanks to West Virginia for Life for everything that they do. Hey y'all, we are so sorry that you couldn't be with us at the Capitol this year, but we are so thankful for all of the work you're doing to advance the pro-life movement throughout West Virginia. I firmly stand with you in continuing to fight for the sanctity of life. Today we have exciting news. The Health Committee passed out the Second Chances at Life bill, and that bill is going to be coming to the floor for a vote before the whole house um, within just a few short days. So keep us in your prayers, call your legislators, make sure they know that you stand for life and that you support uh, the Second Chances at Life bill. We are so thankful for everything you're doing, and we hope to see you at the Capitol very soon. I would urge people to look at this really good piece of legislation that West Virginians for Life is pushing forward. Last year, we took some steps in the COVID changes, which actually gathered data from the state's only abortion clinic. A lot of that information was very useful. And now we wanna make sure that we're educating people about some of the perils of these chemically induced abortions. Take a look at it, call your legislature. This is a good bill that needs to advance. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share it. If you have not yet contacted your senators and delegates regarding your support for the Second Chances at Life Act, visit wvforlife.org legislation to obtain information for your elected officials. Let's help women and girls in West Virginia know that a second chance at life exists for their unborn babies. If you'd like to make a donation to help with this, do so at wvforlife.org slash donate.